As fun as narcissists can be sometimes, especially at the beginning of your time with them, it almost never ends on good terms. Narcissists are people that crave power and attention to a point where they only care about what people can provide for them. When that runs out, or when the friendship starts to become about balance, they often will run off, sometimes without even letting you know first. While getting blocked by a narcissist probably isn't something you should feel bad for, it's impossible for most of us to let go of that lack of courtesy shown by them to cut you off. Today we'll look at why narcissists use the silent treatment to punish people, and what the narcissist blocking game is all about. Make sure to stick around to number two for a really cuckoo reason. Number eight, they feel their grasp on you loosen. Being in a relationship with a narcissist is nothing like your standard neurotypical relationship. Narcissists can be extremely possessive, both with friends and partners, which can be a cause of strain in your relationship with them. Unlike in neurotypical relationships, however, narcissists don't really care about the feelings of others, or at least they don't consider them often. Narcissists want your attention and they want to feel praise and adoration at all times. Once that feeling goes away, narcissists will often lash out, and if they are really upset, they may just straight up give you the silent treatment. Why would they do this? Well, a narcissist feels that when they finally unblock you, that you will run to them and apologize for anything and everything you've done. Blocking you could just be a tactic to get more attention. The logic on their side being that the move could make you realize you could lose them, making you less likely to test boundaries. Narcissists aren't really interested in what neurotypical people perceive as a normal relationship, and they feel like the relationship is dying when control is lost, when in reality, that just means that you two are trusting each other more. Number seven, to punish you. People that are considered narcissists struggle with expressing their emotions, and often all that comes out is bitter resentment. Unlike neurotypical people, narcissists won't let go of mistakes on their friend or partner's behalf with compassion. Instead, this type of person hyper-focuses on the mistake until it becomes much bigger than it ever needed to be. This could easily lead to you getting blocked without even knowing you did something wrong. Narcissists are very fragile emotionally and any slight, purposeful or not, against them and their image could make them isolate and lash out from afar. If a narcissist is trying to teach you a lesson by blocking you, then it is highly recommended not to indulge in that behavior since it will only prove that it works in getting the result they were looking for. Narcissists judge friendships and relationships through a social status eye, and so they have no problem hurting you in order to prove a point. This is considered a devaluation technique and is just a more advanced version of the silent treatment. Number six, to reject you. Most commonly, this happens early on in a relationship with a narcissist. If this person feels like you aren't as interested in them as they are used to, or that they don't have any control over you, they may resort to blocking you. This does two things for them. One, it makes it clear where they stand and forces you to approach them if you want an explanation. Two, it protects them from being hurt. To a narcissist, they see themselves through the lens of others and do not like to see a poor reflection of themselves ever. This is why narcissists in the workplace can make for awful coworkers and why a narcissist blocking you is the equivalent to covering up a mirror so they don't have to see what's behind it. Number five, they found another source. Narcissists can oftentimes resemble addicts in that they care about something separate from you. These people want your time, attention, and even care, but they don't really care about the rest of you. If you have been blocked by a narcissist, there's a strong possibility that they found that time and attention from somebody else. It's uncommon for narcissists to do things for the greater good, and so it's not unheard of that they may move on without even telling you. It is quite possible that they may even return after some time to try and see if they can get that care from multiple people at a time but it is common for narcissists to cut ties while they establish that new link. Number four, to erase you forever. People often ask things like, how long will a narcissist block me? But these questions almost never have clear answers. If you have seen the bad side of your narcissist friend or partner, that may have been enough for them to cut ties with you. Narcissists don't see the gray area with people and everyone to them is either good or bad. People report the beginning of relationships with narcissists to be very fun and even caring. This is because narcissists choose people based on if they are impressed by them. Once you have been together for a time, however, they will devalue you in an effort to control you and in the process, destroy your image in their head. This all leads to them seeing you as all bad and they won't even consider their feelings from earlier. In this case, the narcissist may very well block you because their idea of your relationship is so twisted and negative that they genuinely feel like blocking you is the best way to move forward. It's also pretty common that narcissists will tuck and run when they notice that you have seen past their mask and will become really on edge by that realization. 
Narcissists know that they can't effectively control you if you see through them. And in that case, they also may decide to move on and try with a new person. Number three, they are making you look like the bad guy. As you've picked up by now, narcissists always want to come out on top publicly, since that is what is most important to them. They may block you just to get ahead of things, declaring you the crazy or mean one instead of them. This tactic of projecting is pretty common in breakups, and one that you should be prepared for if you feel like your romantic dealings with a narcissist are reaching a close. While it can be hard to take the high road at the end of any relationship, it's especially important in this case. This person could be trying to paint your relationship as abusive and that you were a bad person. The worst thing that you can try to do is debate logic and emotions with a narcissist, as they just don't take in feelings the same way that most neurotypical people do. Narcissists will soon move on to the next person, but you want to make sure that the bad light they may have painted you in doesn't show any truths. Number two, they feel like they can level up by doing so. This one stings, but is a common reason why narcissistic people get out of relationships. These people see you as a piece of social currency in a way. And so when they see an upgrade, they won't hesitate to leap on it. Narcissists usually fall for people both platonically and romantically right away. And this is because of how they think. They aren't in it for some genuine connection, but are looking for traits they can either maximize or cut out. Things like if you're funny, attractive, or command a room are all things that narcissists love and will want to latch on to. If you're a long-term friend of a narcissist, you will never compare to the thrill of a new connection and they will be quick to abandon you when they see a potential upgrade. The worst part is that these upgrades are usually part of their delusion too and may not make any sort of logical sense to you or others. It's just that over time, narcissists completely lose track of the value of the people in their lives and almost always jump at the shiny new person since they find them more interesting and different. Number one, you don't fit into their life plan. Narcissistic people usually seek positions of power in their lives and this is doubly true at work. You'll usually find narcissists climbing the corporate ladder or out politicking to get an advantage in that part of their life. Eventually though, there is a stop page or at least a stagnation that occurs when they no longer feel like they are just flying through the ranks. It's at this point where their relationship with you may be put in jeopardy as narcissists are not prone to ever blaming themselves. The narcissist may say that you take too much time from them or that they need more adventurous friends or any other variety of excuse. This may lead to them blocking you in an effort to cut out what they perceive as unneeded baggage. While this tactic doesn't make a lot of sense, it reflects the narcissist's allegiance to themselves and only that. Narcissistic people are commonly bad at communicating, which creates problems like this that could have been resolved with a simple conversation. Being blocked by a narcissist may hurt here, but it also doesn't make a whole lot of sense since they are blaming you for their shortcomings at the office. And if you like this video, then check out these related videos to see more. And make sure to like this video to let the algorithm know you'd like to see more videos like these.